The Tri-City Dog Park Society has donated $32,000 in cash. Besides countless you know, volunteer hours, we've had the LD different awards from the LDS Church out here. The city's contributed about $60,000. But every, all the work that you see, or 80% of the work, the fencing and all the laying of the sod has been done by volunteers. We've had contractors in to do the concrete, to do some of the leveling uh, prior to the turf work. But uh, there's been thousands of hours of volunteer work put into this. There's been donations for trees, so either this week or, or before the grand opening, we have eight trees that we've purchased. Three of them will go in the small dog area, five will go in the large dog area. There'll be uh, shade structures and kind of obstacles and dog activities, you know, hoops to jump through, uh, balancing boards. And so the Dog Park Society has been, been talking about purchasing and, and putting some of those out here. So just different activities. Uh, eventually we'll spread the water around so that there's water fountains a little more conveniently located. But mostly shade trees and shade structures and water are the, are the big items that will occur here in the future. We're obviously still looking for donations and, and support for the dog park. We have, uh, we'd like to put in some shade structures this year and those obviously cost money and they're about three to four thousand dollars a piece so we're still looking for donations uh, there's still upcoming volunteer opportunities to kind of put the finishing touches on it uh, we need some help you know kind of getting the road and the parking lot done but I can't say enough about the work and that the volunteers and and the different contractors in our parks crew have, have put into this to date it's been a great community effort I think if anything that we've learned from this is the community has certainly got behind it